How are you? This year for the Chinmaya Health Challenge, we're going to be focusing specifically on gratitude. So thank you for joining this first day of the one month gratitude challenge. There is a growing awareness of the relationship between happiness and gratitude, and most people are somewhat aware of gratitude as a concept. The meaning of the word gratitude is a sense of being thankful and a readiness to show appreciation. But it starts with firstly the acknowledgement of us having received something or possessing something of value. When we recognize the value of something we have, we can then be thankful and grateful for it. And so very simply, gratitude starts making us aware of how much we already have. This in itself is extremely powerful because the feeling of I have is very fulfilling. It is such a change to our constant wanting, the feeling of I need to get, I need to go, I need to do. The feeling of I have is almost a relief. Since gratitude journals have already been around and have been practiced for a few years, most people are quite familiar with writing down three things, five things, ten things a day that they are grateful for. For this challenge, we're going to do things and not just write things. A more varied way to help people become more aware of the different ways in which we can feel and express gratitude. But of course, you can also simultaneously keep a journal, for we know that's extremely beneficial. The journal can be what I'm grateful for, and you write down three points a day. Or you can do it a little bit more structured. We can do three things that I'm generally grateful for, and three things that happen specifically today that I am grateful for. Then each day, usually at the end of the day, although it can be at any time of the day, we add our three points. This is initially quite easy, and then as we go along, it might take us a little while to actually remember and recognize things that we are grateful for. The journal is totally optional, and it's in addition to the daily task that will be given to you as part of this gratitude challenge. For today, we have a very simple task. To find a gratitude quote that you like and post it on your social media as your commitment to doing this challenge. If you want, again, optional, you may tag a few people you feel grateful for today. If you prefer not to go onto social media, still find the quote and save it to your photos. And again, if you feel like it, you can message the quote to a few people that you feel grateful for. Take your time to find the quote that resonates with you, because the more quotes you read on gratitude, the better in helping you actually feel it. My quote for day one is, Your superpowers are your thoughts, your gratitude, your love. Use them. For this gratitude challenge, we will have this daily message with a very brief explanation or understanding of gratitude, followed by the task allocated to us for that day to practice gratitude, and we will end with a very, very short two, maximum three minute guided meditation on gratitude. These guided meditation sessions will end with the sound of the bell, which concludes the session. Let us start today's session. Take a deep breath in, and slowly, gently breathe out. Close your eyes, and take two more long breaths in, and slow breaths out. And clear your mind, of everything else. Think about 
all the forces at play to hold the earth exactly where it needs to be to sustain life on this planet. The gravity of the sun and the moon holds the earth in the ideal place. Few centimeters closer to the sun and the glaciers would all melt and cover the land mass of this planet. Few centimeters away from the sun and the oceans would freeze and we would not have the water cycle needed to stay alive. There are forces holding the air exactly where it needs to be. An intelligence that understands just how hot and cold is ideal. How fast the earth should be rotating and the cycle that needs to be formed. Whatever it is that we would like to call this intelligence, this force. We can be in wonder of its magnificence and grateful for its existence to do what we don't even realize needs to be done. The universe is so large, we cannot even fathom, and within it, we all comfortably live in our little bubble, to what is beyond our understanding that is helping us. Let us be grateful.